Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, uh, a couple of weeks since I posted a video, and I had hoped that today would be a day when I could post a, um, a photography video, but tis not to be the case. I was watching uh, a Thomas Heaton video, you know, as you do, uh, the other day when he made a really good observation, I think, and that is that if you are a photographer on YouTube, you have to make a decision. Either you are going out to take photos or you're going out to shoot a video. And... Uh, I think there's a lot of truth to that because I have struggled with that since the inception of this photography part of my channel. Didn't always used to be a photography channel. It was sort of a catch-all thing for education and whatever else I found interesting, family stuff. And some of that way, way back in the back is still up, but by and large for the last several years, this has been more about images. And I have found over time, as I have tried to continue to do at least one video a week, that I am doing less and less with my photography from a personal standpoint. I used to take pictures with the primary purpose of trying to get something to put up on my Fine Art America website to, to make for sale. Um, or to, you know, load up to some photography site like Flickr or uh, Vero to get other photographers to notice my work. And over time, slowly over time, uh, it has been less and less and less about getting those photos and more about getting a video up every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock and I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. It's just, it, it is the morphology of this channel. And I, I think I've come to a crossroads now where I have to make a decision. Part of the problem is that I am fully aware that even though I am retired, I am stretched very, very thin when it comes to YouTube. And that's a personal decision that I made I have this channel where I'm posting once a week and, you know, by and large, you have to go out, you have to find a location, you have to take some video, you have to talk to the camera, you have to try to get some pictures, you have to edit the pictures, you have to include the pictures in the video. And then I have a channel called The New Retired Me, which a lot of you came over here from, and over there I'm posting videos twice a week. But I can do a lot of that, you know, in the studio at home, and it's, they're both mainly just talking heads videos unless I'm actually going to go out and show off some part of Chattanooga or somewhere where I have been, like my recent trip to Scotland. And then I decided, because I needed to learn a little more about video itself and how to set up shots and how to, how to get decent storytelling video that I started a channel called Life in Motion Diaries where I'm uploading a video every single day and the the idea is to do that for at least a year. I might continue it after that or I might cut it back to a couple of times a week after that. Um, but I don't think that channel is going away. And right now I'm sitting at about 83 or 84 videos I've made so far. I've got one or two I really like. <laughs> so the whole idea of getting up in the morning, going out before sunrise, being at a location, doing the hike, getting the pictures, that's sort of all had to take a back seat for me, and it's made it very difficult. I've tried to take pictures around Chattanooga or to go, you know, to the little smaller towns and take some pictures and those kinds of things are interesting to me, but it's not really what I set out to do as a photographer. I am fully aware that street photography is not my thing. 
urban photography, while it's fun, is also not my thing. People photography, forget it. I really want to go out and do landscape photography, and I'm, I'm struggling. I'm really, really struggling. So I've said all that to say that I have to decide, I think, at some point pretty soon, what are these videos going to look like from week to week? You know, I, 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 have, a, I have a friend, uh, Phil Thatch, who has a, a mainly a bird photography channel. And in his channel, he, he videos a little bit of him going out into a location. And then most of the video is sort of talking over the images and describing what happened and talking about what he likes and doesn't like about them. And that works really, really well. And then I've got another friend, Ron Durant, who loves to go to waterfalls more than anything else. And he's trying to figure out how to get more of his journey into the videos and tell more of a story about those videos. And that works, too. <laughs> so somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to make a decision about whether I am actually going to go out and take pictures for the sake of taking pictures and trying to come up with images that I'm really, really proud of, which means throwing away more and more images? Or am I going to go out and shoot a video where the quality of the images don't matter as much as the story behind the taking of the images? And I'm leaning toward that, to be honest. I'm, I'm leaning toward that. One of the reasons I think that I need to make that decision is that just this week, I was finally monetized on this channel. Now, I've been monetized on the new Retired Me channels 30 days into starting it. I, I hit the jackpot. I don't take that for granted. It's bringing in anywhere from 700 to to $1,000 a month on average, and, and I'm, I, I, you know, I'm... I'm enjoying every minute of making that content. My first day of being monetized on this channel, I made six cents. That's more what I was anticipating. <laughs> if you're not familiar with monetization, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. Thanks in large part to the new Retired Me channel. I've had a lot of people come over to follow me here as well. So I've got a, almost 2,200 followers here at this point. And you have to have 4,000 watch hours. And over the last few months, I've watched that grow and grow and grow. And right now, I think when I, went, when I got monetized, I was at 4,007 watch hours. And that's over the last 365 days. So every day, the bar moves. Monetization means that you get a payout if you make more than $100 in a month. So it's from the first of the month to the end of the month. And I, I, you know, I was monetized after the 20th. I've got less than 10 days. I'm not going to hit $100 this month. So I won't get a paycheck next month. But that money carries over. It, it adds up. It continues to add until you hit $100. And then you get a payout on the 21st of the month. From where I'm standing right now, I would expect this channel to make anywhere from 30 to $60 a month. You know, which is what I thought the other channel was going to make. <laughs> so I won't get a paycheck every month, and, and that's fine. I'm, you know, I really just set out to buy a little coffee and to get some gas money to go take pictures. And, and I think it will do that for me now. And then the Life in Motion Diaries channel is approaching about 700 subscribers. It's got a couple of thousand watch hours. It will probably be monetized before the end of the year. You know, all of that adds up. It just adds up. So we will see where we go from here. Uh, I have a couple of locations this next week that I'm going to try to get to. I actually came downtown today to take some pictures over at uh, Rock the Riverfront because they've got a they've got an art installation over there and activities every day and it draws a pretty good crowd but it's about to rain and so nobody came today so my picture taking didn't happen but I'm going to come back probably Saturday and Sunday and take some pictures of what's going on over there some of the things that are involved with that 
and we'll we'll kind of see where that takes us as well. But that's where I'm at with this channel, and uh, I I just want to say that I appreciate everyone who is here and watching my videos. I have a lot of fun with this. I'm not very good at it, but I have a lot of fun with it, and I'm hoping to get better. And I'm hoping as I get better, I don't lose sight of having the fun. Because really, that's, that's all it's ever supposed to be, is about having fun.